Hello there, Satyajit here and you are watching Satyajit's artwork. In this video, I am going to paint a portrait composition using XP Pen Deco 01 V2 and obviously the software that I am using is Photoshop as you can see. So at this stage you can see that I have laid the basic foundation for this portrait and this portrait is going to be something where I'm going to use impressionistic approach that you can say with brushwork showing through that actually I didn't try to do for most of the time while doing manual works I think a lot of people who are following my channel for quite some time they have seen that I was always intrigued by realism and I tried to capture the realism without actually showing the brush strokes on my works I did it for certain areas but mostly I tried to use very small brushes in order to actually mimic the whole texture of the surface but in this case it is not going to be like that it will be more like an impressionistic work where the brush strokes will be showing through and you will be able to uh, see each individual brush strokes if you watch the painting up close so at this stage you can see that how boldly I am using the brushes and uh, I am trying to capture the values although I am not giving much attention to details at this stage and I should not be I guess because if I give more attention to details at this stage I will not be able to capture that gaze of her face which is very important uh, in works like this because you are limiting the number of strokes I mean you are limiting the number of brush strokes in this case so it becomes very essential that you count on the exactness of the strokes that you put upon on a specific area so that it resembles with your reference otherwise your portrait won't look alike so you can see that how I am just working on the lips and uh, right now it has actually come to a point where I can say that I have captured the basic structure of her face but there are a lot of works to be done and I will do it accordingly now what I'm doing is I'm just adding very loosely the other areas of her body including a dress that you can see I added and uh, now I'm working down the neck area and the brush strokes are very loose now I'm actually painting the suggestive hairs all around but uh, all these are not going to stay like that because a lot of changes will be made as you can see I'm also adding the background and the colors that I'm choosing are completely based on my intuitions and uh, I can change it at any moment so there is nothing to worry about actually now at this stage you can see that I have started working on the sunflower and uh, I am keeping it very loose you can see that how I am developing a base structure for the sunflower and here I am using a particular color which is mostly gumboj yellow you can see that and over that I am using lighter variations of yellow to give it more dimension I am also adding certain darker values here now as you can see I have copied that particular sunflower to the left hand side and that is the advantage of working with a digital medium guys that you don't need to paint a certain thing which is similar in manual works you don't get the liberty of actually copying and pasting the same object or whatever you are trying to paint on certain other areas um, but you can see how I am actually tweaking the background here as well because I feel like that earlier background was not quite complementing the whole composition so I just change it as I told you earlier I can change it at any moment I like so that's the biggest advantage with the digital paintings but I'm not saying that in manual works you cannot do that 
if you are not working with uh, some transparent mediums like watercolors then you can obviously do that because opaque mediums gives you almost the same amount of liberty although at times if you are working on paper then it depends uh, on the quality of the paper that you are using that how many layers you can actually lay upon before the uh, paper gives up so that's one factor which is not uh, actually applicable here because uh, it's a digital canvas and you can put up an innumerable amount of layers that you want and it will not affect the canvas you can notice that i have also put a sunflower on the upper left corner of this portrait because i was feeling like that those two bigger sunflowers were actually making the lower section of this composition a bit too tight and the upper section was looking way too back end so for managing that and balancing the whole composition i added that sunflower and it was also a copy of that previous sunflower so you can see that how i saved a lot of energy there and i also tweaked some of the petals in order to make them look one of a kind so that they doesn't look exact copy of one another because it then becomes very monotonous which doesn't go well with this kind of composition Now you can see that I am working on the portrait and I am actually putting a lot of other details uh, which are going to bring this portrait all together like this casted shadow here of the hairs which is actually falling on her face and I try to capture that now I am adding more values uh, on the darker areas which are mostly the variations of burnt sienna and a bit of crimson lake that you can see along with some skin tones which are more towards uh, the yellowish tones and um, it's about just looking at the reference image and uh, trying to put those colors together in order to make the whole face look more naturalistic and lifelike as you can see i'm just now working around the right eye here and i'm trying to capture a balance between the lighter and the darker tones so that the three dimensionality of the face comes forward even more you can see that how i am actually developing the small little areas around the eyes and all these small little brush strokes at this stage are essential guys because we have laid a foundation earlier and now it is about all this small tweaking here and there which is going to sculpt the whole portrait it is more about sculpting as i feel in case of impressionistic works such as this it is more about sculpting i think if you have ever witnessed someone sculpting that you can notice that how they build up on layer after layer of clay one over another and eventually you see the forms coming to life so that's the case here only the fact is that here we are working on a two dimensional surface and uh, the sculpture is a three dimensional medium that you know obviously at this stage you can see that the face is looking more lifelike than earlier and it's coming all together as you can see now i am working on the casted shadow of the nose and uh, around that area so i am adding some darker values there as well 
along with some lighter values where a line of demarcation is produced between uh, that casted shadow and the areas around it and it's acting quite well at this particular stage now you can see that how i am capturing the contour of the lips and uh, now i have started working on the hair as you can see i'm just working on the hair and i'm trying to give more dimension to these hairs and uh, at this stage i'm just actually not trying to capture the whole thing as like my reference uh, in those hairs i didn't try to capture it as like as the reference because uh, in the reference image the positioning of the hairs are different but as per my composition i tweak them and that's what you learn over the period of time guys that the amount of work that you put behind you actually gives you the confidence and understanding of all these small little things uh, in the larger context that you get to know and you implement them while working on a specific composition that is not exactly there like you are not exactly copying it from somewhere else but you are trying to capture that imagery from your mind and all these things comes handy in that case now you can see that i am working on certain areas uh, around the face and uh, just adding all those small little values here and there i'm just working on the eyes to give them a bit more darker values and also around the hairs to add a few of the highlighted areas there as well and uh, at this stage it's almost done guys i am just tweaking the values here and there now at this stage you can see that guys i'm just working on the hairs and i'm trying to add a few lighter values here just to inform you that i didn't use only the black i really used black for the hairs actually they are a darker tone on the lower end of crimson and burnt sienna so it's not about only using black black almost looks dead at certain points guys so it's important that you look at the color and then judge it on the basis of your composition it's not always like that whatever is present in your reference you need to copy that exactly especially in digital paintings i have seen that if you use dead black it looks terrible now at this stage you can see that guys it is the finished piece that i am sharing right now and you can see all those brush marks coming together as the picture is zooming in i hope you learned something out of this video if so then please let me know your thoughts in the comment section guys see you soon with my next video till then take care and keep working hey guys thanks a lot for watching if you want to support my work then please do like comment and share my works and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon which is very important so that you get notified as soon as i post a new video